Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, we have some powerful storms coming for the next couple of days. Plus, we have extreme heat coming. Matter of fact, a long-duration heat wave is setting up. Plus, what's going on in the Northeast and in the rest of the country. We have damaging winds. We have large hail. We even have chances for tornadoes once again in multiple areas for today. So, if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. Now, you can see from your tropical pause way up in the atmosphere that you have all these warm temperatures going all across the country. It's going to go all the way until this weekend. And then it's going to go a little bit lower after it goes all the way up to the north central. Then it's going to go even lower as we get this system just building up. Then we have stronger temperatures coming in once again from the west coast. And this is going to bring even more heat to the southwest and come across the U.S. again while we get another strong system just setting up all next week. So it's just a never-ending pattern plus the Canadian wildfire smoke is potentially coming down into this country once again, guys. While we get another system that's going to be building after that, we're just in a steady pattern of just heat and storms and severe weather. And you can see the setup for this morning. So we have the flood watches in the northeast, also for Mississippi. We even have the flash flood warning for Mississippi. Also over here towards the west where we have all this heat building up. All this orange is heat advisories for today. And all of this pink is excessive heat warnings, guys. So for today, your heat is really going to rise up. And your heat indices are still going to be very strong in the southwest. Also in the south central, a lot of over 100 to 110 plus degrees is what you're going to feel like today. And then as this storm starts coming in for tomorrow, it is going to be in the same places. A lot of strong heat indices for tomorrow and this is going to continue to build as this weekend comes along plus after this weekend as we go into tuesday we're still going to bring a lot of strong heat in the seas to the southwest the south central and moving towards the southeast for wednesday it's going to get even stronger it's going to go all the way up towards kansas all the way up towards missouri even southern illinois getting on these strong heat in the seas all the way towards the southeast and for the southwest y'all going to be really strong as well you get a lot of strong heat in the seas you're in a long duration event and it's going to be all week for next week. Here's Thursday for next week, southwest, also for the south and the southeast. All y'all going to be over 100 heat indices. Also for next Friday, it is going to be here again all next week. Please prepare for these very hot temperatures. It is going to be very dangerous and you definitely need to hydrate. Matter of fact, Arizona National Weather Service has put this out for you. A prolonged dangerous heat, a long duration heat wave is coming. The heat risk is increasing from major into extreme as you go Friday into this weekend. And you see what you have for next week, but just Friday all the way till Tuesday, your high is going to be anywhere from 112 to 120. So here's your cities and your temperatures that you can look at as you go in from Friday all the way to next week. You, all this pink is all extreme heat risk. So if you're in this pink, please be aware of all these temperatures in Arizona. Make sure you hydrate and prepare for this. Plus, we had 10 tornado reports yesterday, just like if you saw my update on my community tab, just where we saw those strong cells and the update on the chances for tornadoes. We had one in Iowa, we had one in Michigan, and we had a bunch in Illinois towards the Chicago area. And you can see for this morning, it has expanded. So you do have chances for tornadoes today. You have the 2% in multiple areas and you have the 5% right here towards the New England states, right where the flooding is about to start, right where they really don't need it. So here's your cities and states at risk for the tornado so far for today. You also have chances for damage in winds today. You have a big 5% area and you have multiple areas that has a 15% risk. And I can see this going even higher as we go through the day. So, so far, here's your cities and states at risk for the damage and winds for today. You also have the hail threat for today. You have the big 5% all the way across. You have a few areas with the 15%, but now you also have the significant severe in this black, which means at least two inches in diameter. So, so far, here's your cities and states at risk for the hail threat for today. And the large hail is the white line on top. And National Weather Service has as scattered severe thunderstorms capable of producing damage and winds, large hail, and perhaps a couple of tornadoes are possible today across parts of the Ohio Valley into the northeast and portions of the southern central plains. Isolated very large hail may occur across parts of the central plains as well. Matter of fact, when you look at the update from NATOcast, it is showing you definitely have the chances for the tornadoes towards the northeast, especially in the higher elevations. You also have chances towards lower Ohio and western West Virginia. You also have chances in western Minnesota, eastern North Dakota, northern Iowa, also for Nebraska going into South Dakota, as well as Colorado going into western Kansas. Multiple areas have a chance for tornadoes for today. 
And you can see with your cape, with your lift from HRRR, your potential energy, that it really bursts up as you go through this evening. By the time you get to 2 o'clock, you have multiple states with a lot of lift. There's a lot of heat, but there's a lot of strong dew points all the way towards the northeast. And this goes all evening long, and then it reloads once again for tomorrow. And the setup is really strong. You've still been going all night long in Missouri, all morning long with these storms. But as this comes in for later this afternoon, as the daytime heating kicks in, you get this really strong storm over the northeast with this bad little banding right here this is what's going to bring your damage and winds and your chances for tornadoes for y'all all even along all the way to nine and ten o'clock and maybe a little longer while little popcorn storms pop up all across the country guys all evening long and then once again for tomorrow this is reloading all over again starting off in nebraska bringing strong storms for the southeast the central plains also for the east coast also for the northeast as you go through the evening it's going to be a long couple of days of very strong storms that's going to pop up everywhere matter of fact national weather service has put this out for the northeast as this banding comes along for the northeast all the way from 2 p.m all the way to 8 p.m is bringing chances for damage and winds large hail isolated tornado possible plus you will get the flash flooding and you get some cloud to ground lightning and you can see that your damage and winds is coming all evening long. Now for the northeast, it's showing it's going from 50 and it is downgrading some with the 40, but you're so saturated, even 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts will knock over those trees and cause a lot of power outages. So please be aware of that. I will zoom in for you, plus you get a lot of damage and winds for the north central, the central plains, the south central, and as you go overnight into early morning hours, it is bringing damage and winds across Minnesota, going to Wisconsin, Arkansas, southern Missouri once again. And once you go towards tomorrow afternoon, then you get some more damage and winds that's going to kick in for the south central, Ohio Valley, and the Tennessee, Kentucky Valley. So for the Central Plains, you can see all the way to 7, 8 o'clock, even 9 o'clock tonight. You have multiple areas. Missouri, you had all those storms for this morning. But now you get them for eastern Colorado, western Kansas. You get them for Nebraska, South Dakota, going into Iowa, going into Minnesota overnight, and going into Wisconsin as you go through tomorrow morning. And we're talking 50, 60, even 70 miles per hour wind gusts in a lot of these cells. HRRR is showing over 90, but you always downgrade a little bit. But definitely somewhere between 60 and 80 miles per hour wind gusts coming with the setup. And then as we come through tomorrow, I will update tomorrow morning, is bringing more damage and winds all across multiple states. Plus, you can see towards the east that you have strong winds coming across southern Ohio, West Virginia, a little bit of southern Pennsylvania, and for the northeast as you get that tail whip of that banding, bringing 40 and 50, but remember, all it would take is 40 and 50 to knock them trees over. You're already way saturated. But this is some strong cells passing through southern Ohio and West Virginia as well. That's 60 and 70. And then as tomorrow's setup comes through, it's going to come through once again, start bringing damage and winds. And we can't see that far because HRRR is only 48 hours. But you can see how the setup is coming. This is going to keep pushing to the east. So when you look at your updraft helicity showing a strengthening cell, chances for large hail, also chances for a tornado. You can see you have some strong cells over here for eastern New York going towards Vermont. You also have it for West Virginia. You've got one or two for southern Ohio. You have one or two for southern Illinois, southern Indiana. You also have it for Missouri, northern Arkansas, western Kansas, going into Nebraska and southern South Dakota. Then overnight, it's going to come across Minnesota, go into Wisconsin, northern Iowa, and then you're going to get more from Nebraska, and then it's going to come right back in again for some strong cells coming across the Central Plains and the South Central for tomorrow. So strong storms all the way to 10 and 11 o'clock, multiple areas showing a lot of chances for not only large hail, chances for tornadoes as well. And as you go overnight, it does bring it towards Iowa into Wisconsin, Minnesota, starting to get it for Kansas, going into western Oklahoma. But once you go for tomorrow, it just builds right back up in the atmosphere. Some very strong storms setting up for tomorrow as well. I mean, you just have multiple storms all over the country the south the tennessee kentucky valley ohio valley the central and north central the upper midwest you have a lot of storms for today and tomorrow also towards the east you can see it for southern illinois a little bit for southern indiana a little bit for southern ohio west virginia getting hit with some strong storms also for the northeast for new york going to vermont you get a little bit for connecticut and massachusetts as well and then for tomorrow it just sets right back up and it comes right back in you get it for mississippi you get it for tennessee you get it for north carolina virginia we got some strong storms coming for today 
and tomorrow. Also bringing a lot of flooding all the way till Sunday. This is with National Weather Service. You have multiple areas showing one and two plus inches of rainfall that is coming with this pattern. And Friday evening is coming in real heavy and it goes all the way until Sunday morning. Bringing two inches over eastern New Mexico, Panhandle of Texas, one inch across Oklahoma, southern Missouri, northern Arkansas, very heavy spot. Plus Mississippi getting in on it, Alabama, Panhandle, Florida, Tennessee, Kentucky, going across to southern Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, West Virginia, Virginia, a little bit for southern Maryland and Delaware. But look at Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, a little bit of Long Island, Vermont, New Hampshire. And all this rainfall is just more for the Northeast. Everybody knows what happened to them over there. It's very tragic and it's very bad. And now they have more coming and chances for tornadoes. Matter of fact, Mississippi, they have put this out for you. A significant threat for flooding, 6 to 10 inches of rain with locally higher amounts will be possible. Plus, all of the orange, you have a chance for 3 to 6 inches of rainfall coming, and all the yellow is 1 to 3 inches. So please prepare. There is multiple threats that we have for today and tomorrow. So for today, you do have the marginal for flash flooding, but we have the slight risk and we have the moderate risk over here from Mississippi, Alabama to Panhandle, Florida. We also have the slight risk going on for eastern Kentucky, southern Ohio, West Virginia, and for the northeast. You have the slight risk and the moderate risk once again for today. Now for tomorrow, you're going to be right back in a slight risk all across the northeast, right along the coast. You're going to have it for the south as well, and you're going to have it for the central U.S. As you go through Saturday, you're going to have the marginal, and you're going to get a slight risk over the south central, but it's going to come right back in. You have the marginal, but now you got the slight risk all over again for the New England states. And as you go through Monday, you're going to be in a marginal in a few places. And that's not the only threats. You can see with ACRRR that you do have some of that Canadian wildfire smoke moving through this afternoon, mostly tonight and overnight hours. That low pressure is just spinning counterclockwise, pulling all this down. And all this is going to North Dakota, going to Montana, northern Minnesota. And as you go in for tomorrow, it comes in again for South Dakota, going into northern Wisconsin. So you do have some wildfire smoke coming. I will keep you updated on the alerts of this. And when you look at the GOES satellite, you can see as you go through Friday over the weekend, it will continue to keep on coming down. And as you go past that, look, that's a strong level for North Dakota. Hope that don't show true for Saturday. And as you go past that, past the weekend, it comes towards Ohio Valley and a little bit of the intercoastal northeast, bringing chances for more air quality, bad air quality coming in your area. And as you go for next week, more chances for that to come on down with that second system. A lot stronger on this first system. So just be aware there could be some air quality alerts coming and it will be bad air quality. Now for tomorrow, you have some more severe weather. You have chances for hail. You have chances for winds. And so far, National Weather Service don't have any chances for tornadoes. So, so far, here's your cities and states that's at risk for the wind and hail for Friday. I will update you in the morning. And for Saturday, there is another section for severe weather. So I will update you first thing in the morning so we know what y'all are dealing with. Plus our latest update in the tropics, we do have another disturbance in the eastern Pacific that is going west-northwest as well. And we have tropical storm Calvin that's going to be a hurricane. But it's still showing as we go past Sunday, it'll go downgrade from a hurricane to a tropical storm. It's going into cooler waters, but it's still bringing some impacts towards Hawaii and the islands. But you can see for yourself, the sea surface temperatures are very cool waters right here. So it's going into the cooler waters. That's why it's going to be downgrading before it reaches Hawaii. Euro still showing around Tuesday and Wednesday. The storm will be passing by. It is going to be north side loaded with the winds, and it is going to be somewhat on the mild side still. But showing that you'll get somewhere around 30 to 40 miles per hour wind gusts, and there is a few sections that could be up to 50 miles per hour wind gusts as that passes by. But it is bringing heavy rainfall over four inches in multiple areas, especially for Hawaii. You have chances for four to six inches of rainfall coming with the 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts. Plus your latest in Atlanta, there's still no disturbance being shown by National Hurricane Center. I'm showing that that will be updated. We do have a tropical wave coming, but I'm still showing that it's gonna have problems with the dust. And you can see the latest from the Euro for cyclone locations, that tropical wave is starting to have problems still with the dust in MDR, but as it gets out of this dust, a potential tropical wave could form up somewhere over here by the Bahamas as we go eight and nine days away. So it's still a little too far away, guys. I will keep you updated. Please take this with a grain of salt. But something could form up and go towards the East Coast, maybe a strengthening hurricane. So far, Euro is showing towards Virginia and towards the Northeast. While that next tropical wave in between these two plumes of dust 
does have a chance to form up and go towards the Caribbean and go towards the southeast of the U.S. But you can also see the update on your latest global tropics that from the 19th through the 25th, they are expecting a tropical cyclone to form in the MDR. And we can't quite see that far yet with the GOES satellite, but you can see we do have that big plume of dust still coming in. And there is another one coming in. While that might still form something in Northern Atlantic, no threat to anyone. So I will keep you updated on the next tropical wave. Because you can see the latest update on a potential velocity anomaly according to the Euro. That there is a little sliver of favorable environment where something could slip in then that plume of dust. And still, as we go towards the very end of July and the beginning of August, we do have multiple areas that we need to keep a watch for in our tropics. But so far, even the models don't even suggest anything forming, not even the GFS, which usually roots for these things. You can see this tropical wave forming up and then it's just having problems just staying all together at all. But it is literally at the end of the run. So I will keep you updated on the tropics. So far, everything will continue to keep pushing into the Eastern Pacific while we get multiple cyclones forming up. So I will keep you updated in Hawaii as well. But most of all, thank you so much for your time. God bless you and your families. Please prepare for all these events. It's more than just one. We have so much going on. We got the flooding, the tornadoes, damaging winds, large hail, the Canadian smoke, the heat, the tropics. There is so many things going on. So I do appreciate every single one of you. I know all of you are very busy out there. Today I want to talk to you with Psalm 37, 1 through 8. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. And most importantly, cease from anger, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. You know my heart always goes out to you. I pray for every single one of y'all. And I hope you have a very blessed day today. Just remember, in all things you do, be thankful. Be thankful for everything. Because someone always has it worse than you. All glory. Always goes to God. Our Father in heaven. Yahweh. And I pray he always gives you wisdom to know what to do when times get tough. Just remember to count on him. He will guide you through any storm going on in your life. And that is very true. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for watching over us. Have a great day and be safe. Everybody.